One of the defining characteristics of Lent is simplicity, a pairing back. Many of us try to live more simply, giving something up for Lent. Others take up a particular discipline, a new way of praying or some devotional reading. Our worship tends to be simpler, our surroundings more stark. All of this is designed to take away distractions, to draw us back to the pearl of great price. That in the words of the poet R.S. Thomas, we might turn aside once more to the miracle, that we might come just as we are with all our failings and imperfections, knowing that we are forgiven. To gaze upon the face of God, knowing that God is gazing back lovingly on us, always reaching out a hand to us. To share with God our innermost thoughts, knowing that God hears our prayer. To rest in God's presence, knowing that we are held in God's gentle and tender embrace. In this season of pairing back, perhaps it's no wonder that poetry can be so powerful. Poetry conveys depth and meaning, often with very few words, making it a challenging and comforting companion on our Lenten journey. The work of Lent is about moving towards the God who is always moving towards us. The one who says to you and to me, you are my beloved child with whom I am well pleased. The one who, whatever burdens and struggles we carry, reminds us that love has the last word. Love by George Herbert. Love bade me welcome, yet my soul drew back, guilty of dust and sin. But quick-eyed love, observing me grow slack from my first entrance in, drew nearer to me, sweetly questioning if I lacked anything. A guest, I answered, worthy to be here. Love said, you shall be he. I, the unkind, ungrateful, ah, my dear, I cannot look on thee. Love took my hand and smiling did reply, who made the eyes but I? Truth, Lord, but I have marred them. Let my shame go where it doth deserve. And know you not, says love, who bore the blame? My dear, then I will serve. You must sit down, says love, and taste my meat. So I did sit and eat.